What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Wong AVO, this is Super Rap, bringing you a video here on the Modern Ninja channel, and today we're talking about another weapon logs here, specifically talking about this new staff I got sent by Combative.com, I'll leave links down in the description if you want to check it out after the video is done, but I want to go into uh, the uses for this weapon, some cool uh, aspects and features that this weapon has, and a couple different drawbacks that this weapon has as well, so... Without further ado, sit back, relax, and run that intro. So this is a metal tricking staff. This is made out of aluminum and it's hollow so that makes it light enough to do, you know, special tricks and tosses with, but because it's metal, it's durable enough to be able to take drops and take hits. Um, and you know actually stand up for combat now this does mean a couple different things depending on what you want to use this for whether it's traditional uh, staff work or XMA and tricking staff work um, and I'll get to that in just a second first I want to tell you about the way that this is made this has uh, four different grips on the staff one at the end one in the middle or two in the middle I guess and one on the other end so that is how the grips will work now these aren't actually standing off of the staff these are actually engraved into the staff now because of that it does take a second to get used to it is a, a like a very different feel of grip but it is an effective grip that lets you know when you're at certain parts of the staff without actually looking to see where your hand is on your bow staff. So it can be very useful for that and allow you to get a good grip when you're blocking or striking or whatever you're doing in your training. Now as far as training goes, uh, for you traditional bow guys, this is actually pretty useful for you. This will stand up to a uh, very extensive training and hitting things so if you want to you know take this bow out and go to town on a tree or whatever you want to you know hit you can even hit concrete and it'll be just fine and just you know able to take those hits okay. and the fact that it's aluminum also allows you to be able to do those strikes quite fast um, in comparison to some of the heavier bow staffs uh, that kind of limit your ability to move it in certain situations. Now for all you guys that like tricking with your staff, this is again a great staff. It is a light staff that allows you to be able to do all your tosses and all your uh, things fairly simply and fairly easily. Like it's not much heavier than your normal staff. Obviously uh, a non-metal staff is gonna be a little bit lighter, but this is still incredibly light for what it's made out of. And I have no, I've had no problems doing any of the tricks uh, that I normally do with this staff. And I've had a couple weeks to, to give this a try. So um, definitely good for tricking. The Another benefit that you're gonna have is that you can trick in the outdoors and on concrete. A lot of times people won't trick on concrete simply because breaking their weapons on the ground happens like I've done it in live streams before I'm sure if you have tricked for long enough with bow staff you've broken a bow staff or two over the years and so um, this d eliminates that issue you can actually trick and drop this on literally whatever surface you want to and it'll be just fine it might get a, a scratch or two here and there depending on how you drop it and how hard you drop it but it's still incredibly resi resilient um, two drops and isn't gonna break without you like trying to break it you got to like Intend to break it if you really are wanting to break this thing now There is one drawback for you trickers is that this is a metal bow staff and Even though it has those benefits that I just discussed. This is not a beginner staff um, for one it's not tapered and so Knowing that means that you're gonna have to work on your spins a little differently It's gonna spin a little bit slower and you're gonna have to put more torque into it just a little bit simply because it's not tapered uh, And so the weight isn't in necessarily in the middle It's spread out throughout the entire staff and the second issue as to why this is a more advanced bow staff is because it hurts, you know it Dang, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Are you recording me? Yeah. <laughs> that really hurt. That's rough, buddy. Messing up hurts. If you hit yourself on the head, you're gonna hurt yourself. So any beginners and even some intermediates out there, I wouldn't suggest this bow staff simply because if you hit yourself, you're gonna feel it. If you toss it up and hit your elbow or hit the side of your head or whatever it is, you will feel that hit and it will not feel good. So um, if you're still kind of new into your tricking, if you're still kind of new into your training, this isn't what you want to use. But if you want something that you can trick anywhere without worrying about damaging your staff or anything like that, this is definitely the thing to go with. But like I said before, I'll leave links to this staff in the comments below. Please go check it out. I uh, like this staff a lot. I'm going to use it a lot, actually. Uh, I've been using it a lot. So if you want to use it with me and train some of the tricks that I do and the tutorials that I'll be releasing with this pretty soon, uh, check out links down in the comments below. But don't forget to like and subscribe and do all the fun YouTube stuff. And until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.